Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to 3D print files on Bamboo Handy, which is the Bamboo Lab phone application in which you can send files from your phone all the way to your 3D printer. This is super convenient. This is going to be a full guide on how to do this. So step number one is to go and download Bamboo Handy. I'm guessing you're already there. Go to the App Store and search for it. Bamboo Handy. If you search for it, Bamboo Handy. Go ahead and download that. Click open. It's most likely going to prompt you to log in. This is going to be your bamboo lab like user account so make sure you do like a legit account because it's going to be also on bamboo studio etc so after you have fully logged in what you can then do is connect your printer so click on the devices tab and then click this plus button up here and it'll walk you through the guide on how to like scan the code on your printer or else just connect it uh if your 3d printer is connected to wi-fi you can click on nearby devices and it should pop up right here. My 3D printers are already connected here. So what's cool about this is, as you can see here, if I click the devices tab here, I already have a 3D print that's going right now. And what I really like about this is I can click the play button and depending on which printer you have, you can get a live view of what your 3D print, like what's happening on the build plate. I will say it's a little laggy. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does work. And if I click play like here, this is the A1 Mini that's, printing a cool like piece of artwork. It's not gonna load right now, but sometimes it does and it's cool. It also gives us a bunch of other information. Like it tells us that the print is 48% finished. It has an hour and 45 minutes remaining and it tells us all kinds of cool things about the AMS and the printer. Like it's really kind of cool. Like say if you're at work, you know what I tend to do is I'll set up a print print while I'm at work and then I can check the status of it while I'm at work and just be like, oh, that's cool. And what's also cool is you can set up notifications up here to go over here. These notifications will tell you, you know, your print has succeeded. Maybe you have a print failure, an issue, an AMS failure sometimes happens. So let's go back to the model. So go to the very bottom here on the left-hand side, it says models. This is essentially where we're going to be finding the 3D models to print, right? And if you click on this page, you can see here, we immediately have, if you scroll down a little bit here, it says featured. You can click on 30 day trending, 3D printer accessories. Or what I'll tend to do is use the search function up here in the right hand corner. Let's just search for something, right? So if we click uh, like Halloween's right around the corner, but search for whatever you want, you know what I mean? And you can just sit here and kind of scroll through whatever files you want. And if you don't want to search, you can go back here and check the three 30 day trending and just kind of scroll and scroll and scroll. You're going to find yourself spending hours scrolling and finding cool stuff to print. So once you find something that interests you and you're looking to print it, just click on the, the page here. And what's really cool here is it'll walk you through the entire process of sending it to your Bamboo Lab 3D printer. So if you scroll down here, what I tend to do here is I'll look at the comments. I'll, I'll look at the actual images people post to give you like a live real life example of the file you're actually printing because sometimes these pictures versus what people actually print are a tiny bit different. So I tend to look at that. And then once you figured it out that that's what, what you want to print here is click right here in the bottom right hand corner says prepare to print. And then next what you want to do is you want to select your printer. So I have the P1S that's open right now. So I select that. Then there's different profiles, which is pretty cool. Like they have different infill, different layers, walls, and it tells you how long it takes as well. So just maybe you take a look through here. There's only two options on this one, but sometimes there might be 10 different options. So just be aware of that. This one's 1.3 hours. One big setback about using the Bamboo Handy app is that we cannot modify the sizing of the print, which I hope in the future Bamboo changes, but for now we cannot. And we kind of just have to go with whatever size the person is printing it, like whoever made this file. Then once you're done here, click the next button. And then this is going to be the prepare to print page here. It's going to tell you the time. It's going to tell you how much filament it's using. It's going to tell you to choose your printer and your build plate. And it's going to tell you to select your filament. My filament, um, maybe it's PLA, the brand, choose all that stuff. And then all you have to do here, you can choose copies. Uh, you can choose the time-lapse video if you want a video of the time-lapse. Then just click on start print and then it's going to send it to your printer. It's really that simple, guys. I would say though the biggest setback to using Bamboo Handy, like I said before, is we cannot modify anything about the file. This app works perfect like when I'm feeling really lazy and I don't wanna jump into Bamboo Studio, but guys, if you haven't learned Bamboo Studio yet, you need to learn it and consider using this guide right here because like it's if you're gonna be modifying and getting serious with 3D printing, you need this guide. It's actually easier than you think. My guide is super straightforward, simple step-by-step -step tutorial, guys. Hit me up in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Here's the next video.